Yo, what's going on everybody? It's your boy Pryoculus and I'm back with another video. Now, I am so glad that this dude chose Volkanovski. I really am. Hopefully he locks in that Volkanovski pick because we're going to be using Yair Rodriguez. Now, this is possibly the next matchup in the featherweight division for the championship belt. Now, let me ask you guys a question. Is Yair the man to take out Volkanovski? And if he's not, why do you think not? What is it about Volkanovski that you feel that Yair Rodriguez won't be able to, uh, you know, get ahead of? Is it the wrestling? Is it the striking? Because, honestly, Yair is pretty fast. Obviously, you know, Volkanovski is fast himself. They both have really good footwork, good cardio. And uh, they both are game opponents. They both have really good chins. So the question is, who would you have in this one? Personally, I think Volkanovski would probably wrestle fuck him. But... You just never know. Okay. I'm going against this guy in ranked. I didn't know who to use in ranked until I seen this dude Volkanovski. And it was the perfect opportunity for me to bust out the Yaya Rodriguez. And uh, I'd say a very underrated pick. We caught the kick. We're going to walk him towards the cage. He can throw those punches. That's fine. We land a body shot. Then we land a body roundhouse. So that was two body shots versus him hitting my block. So I'll take that. He blocks low there. Okay. Gonna watch him, see what he's doing. Notice how his his block pattern. See how he's blocking. He's doing this. Hands low, hands high, hands low, hands high. That pattern is good and bad at the same time. Good because it's kind of like fuzzy blocking. If you don't know what fuzzy blocking is, it's kind of a term used um, in fighting games, 2D fighters. Um, basically, when you block high and low in a quick sequence. That way, you know... You kind of block both things. But, again, I can slip through and land something with him blocking like that. Okay. Okay. And right now, I can see that I'm very successful with the roundhouses with the lead leg. Notice how I'm landing them clean to his body. And uh, I think that's something that I'm going to keep utilizing in this fight. That was a nice front kick. He going. So, this guy here. Has a really good attack on what he's trying to attack. He goes a body. Okay. Okay. He throws a switch. Nice high kick. Will we block it? All right. Just trying to pay attention to what this guy's doing. He's trying to attack my base. He's trying to attack my low, my legs. I said my lows. Okay. We're gonna walk him down because he threw that long combination. Roundhouse to the body, cross, back to the body, to the body. And notice how I'm always keeping it, you know, n keeping it simple, more so to say. Going to the body, boom. See how he's blocking low? And then we get him, you know, we go high and then we go low with the kick. Because we just threw the kick alone, he'd probably be able to defend against it. But we threw the punch before the kick, so kind of got him thinking about something else. That was nice to now. Boom, he took me down at the end of the round. As long as I don't let him get nothing crazy off, like no heavy ground and pound, I'll be good. We denied that. That's probably going to be the end of the round right there. All right. Probably shouldn't have done that transition, but it's all good. It's all good. Look at the stats on round one. Check these things out. Okay, so it looking like, well, maybe not because he was throwing a whole bunch of strikes on the ground at the end. So maybe he didn't win that round because I was I'm pretty sure I was up. But he just throwing those strikes on the ground. It don't mean anything. But all in all, I mean, personally, I'm, I'm okay with what happened in round one. Did some good body work. I've only taken really leg damage. So I'm content. Got to watch out for this guy front kicks. He's like those switch kicks as well. Going to walk him down. He's a little bit more aggressive with his uh, strike count. Boom. And notice how we're calm, right? We're keeping everything calm. While he's going crazy with a you know a high, high amount of strikes he's throwing this round, we're still keeping it cool. And our accuracy is insane right now. Matter of fact, I'm going to check it mid-match. 22 strikes, we've landed 17. Think about that accuracy. Think about that accuracy. He tried to do that same takedown. To the body. I'll leave it at that. To the body. 
honestly, we can we can really set up a high kick. That was nice. You can probably go low kick now. Another high kick. Okay. Two shots to the body. Dropping down right there. Okay. To the body. And this right here, man, is just perfect execution of body work. Of body work, man. Okay. And just playing calm. While my opponent is, you know, going crazy with the amount of strikes he's throwing, I'm keeping everything calm. Shoots another takedown. We deny it. Two knees to the face because he's blocking up top. I mean, blocking down low. Okay. See how he ducks there? That's why you want to utilize the feints. Because notice how I threw that high kick and he was going to duck that one. He was going to definitely duck that one. We're staying calm. He clinches me two knees. All right. See if we can catch with a high kick. When I get the opportunity, I'll, I'll let it be known. Opportunity is here. We catch him. Go to the body. Go up top. Go back to the body with the roundhouse. And we drop him again. Yeah, and this is this is kind of like how the fight probably going to be wrapped up. It's like this. Uh, boom. Boom. Okay. And this is just clinical, honestly. This is clinical. This is very clinical. What happened in round two just signify war. Really just played out how the rest of this fight will go. 100%. I attacked his body. I was extremely accurate. I'm going to go back and look at these stats after the fight. The only way I lose this fight is if I make a critical mistake and, like, eating a high kick or something, leaning into it, or getting knocked down off, like, trying to go to the body, and he he blocks it, or he um, hits him with an uppercut counter. There we go. Okay. Try to do that combination twice now. Switch kick, land it clean. Nice head movement. Okay. I tried to see if Yair had that. Uh, if Yair had the. I throw a front kick. Figured he dug into it. The double high kick where you can throw a high kick and then throw a spinning heel. But I thought he had. Push him back. Hit the knee. We're gonna watch his block. He's gonna retreat back to the cage. So gives us an opportunity to land on him. Don't gotta go crazy. Cross into the body. Block is high. We're gonna throw another front kick because he likes to duck. There it goes. To the body. Front kick. High kick. Front house to the body. And then he'll kick, drop him, and this is that—that that was just clinical. That was like John Jones type work. That was like John Jones type of work. Gonna lose all the feints. What is he blocking? Right? What is he blocking? Hands low. Hands go low again. Okay. Up top. Three hooks. He blocks him. Okay. Front kick. Blocks it. Now I go to his body. Drop and good night. Yeah, for sure, for sure, for sure. Respect. Great fight, man. Great fight. This right here was clinical. This was like, like surgical. Really was. And I knew that was going to finish him because, again, I set him up. I did all those shots up top, had him thinking up top. Boom. Killer body shots with the uh, rear uppercut to the body and then the lead hook as he's uh, falling and then that. That wraps it up. That wraps it up. But hey, all in all, GG's, bro. Can't be mad. Can't be upset. You know, with that finish coming from Volkanovski, because I mean, overall that was just clean. We just did really good work in that in that second round. That set up everything. But what I'm gonna do before I do jump into the next match is check 
the stats around two. And I'm going to tell you why it's so efficient. You don't have to land a whole bunch of uh, power shots. You don't have to land a whole bunch of body shots. You have to land a whole bunch of effective ones. Look at that. Two, I threw 200 strikes. I landed 115 of them. Really good accuracy. And round two, I threw 87 strikes and I landed 53 of them. Think about that accuracy. Imagine if I punched something 87 times and I hit it 53 of those 87. That is extremely high accuracy, bro. And that's why Volkanovski lost this round. But hey, I mean lost this fight. But I'm going to move on to the next fight, guys. Try to get in another Yair Rodriguez fight. And if I do, I do. If I don't, I don't. All right? But I'll be back. By the way, hit the like button. Let's go. All right, here we go. Versace Miyagi. This is Conor McGregor. This is the Conor McGregor that has been dropped to like four stars. But he's still a problem. Don't get me wrong. He's still a problem. Don't let anybody tell you anything different. Respect. Let's get it. Now, with this matchup, we have to worry about Conor because his reach and his length. He has very good speed. Okay, he knocks me down. Okay, he's going to wrestling with Conor McGregor. Wouldn't say that's efficient, but I wouldn't be. I wouldn't also say that it's not a bad thing. We block the kick. Now with Conor McGregor, we want to do the same thing. We can't really run with him with the hands. Okay, but we definitely can run with Conor McGregor. You know, just overall trying to stay in a kickboxing type of fight with him. Nice. And we know Conor McGregor round one, right? Round one, Conor McGregor is going to definitely be a nuisance. He's going to be a problem. But as long as we can weather the storm, and you see how how many strikes this guy is throwing. And I'm glad that he's landed on me because I can show, even when someone lands on you, it doesn't mean the fight's over. Someone can have a very good round one, and then their round three shits to bed and results in them losing the fight. Or the round two. Okay. Evade that strike right there. He tried to throw another spin in here. Jab cross. There we go. Nice. You can see this Conor McGregor is active. He's real active. <laughs> oh, man. Hey, I like this, though. Oh, yeah. That's what I really like right there. See how he's... I'm not doing anything, and he's basically punching and kicking himself out. And look at my health. Have I taken much damage to, you know, be like, dang, I really got to be careful? No. No. And this dude's stamina is getting killed. And I ain't doing nothing to it. I'm not doing anything to this man's stamina right now. Is he going to be able to keep up this pace for five rounds? Nope. He won't. He will not. Nice. Okay. And this is what makes, you know, good players good and bad players bad is uh, managing managing stamina. If you can't manage stamina, you're gonna lose a lot of your matches. You're gonna you're gonna either coin flip early with your matches, or you're going to just get like put in a situation where now their their health is low but you have no stamina and then now you put yourself in a situation to where you have to hope that your opponent makes a mistake instead of having the stamina to bring the mistake out of them you have to hope that they make a mistake now that was a nice spinning heel kick my head health is getting a bit on the lower end that i don't like but i'll recover i'll recover into round two and uh you know we'll continue doing what we're doing Okay, now check the stats really quickly. He threw 97, landed 35. I threw 41, landed 21. So I, I landed about 50, well, actually, exactly 50% of my strikes. Actually, no, like 50.1 type percentage. But all in all, I'm satisfied. Look at my health stats. Look at my stamina. Remember, this is a five-round fight going against Conor McGregor, right? Those roundhouses that he are landing, like those spin kicks, more so to say, not roundhouses, they're not doing much damage because he's throwing them at the wrong uh, distance. So they're not really getting max damage. Like that roundhouse right there. That one I threw got like max damage. That one he threw did not. That was a nice uppercut. Okay. We're going to push him back. Push him again. Okay. 
He's possibly going to make a mistake by throwing one of those spin kicks moving forward. And I could possibly sidestep it. Not 100% sure. I need to get off the cage. So I'm going to just circle out. Throws another spin kick. And he's landing. The problem is they're not doing any damage. They're not doing any damage whatsoever. Nice. Nice block. And you can see I'm not doing anything extravagant that you guys can't do. I'm just basically letting the fight play out itself. Nice uppercuts. These uppercuts are going to my body, but they're redirecting to my head because I'm going to his body. Okay, now you can see my head health is getting in a position to where I need to be careful. He makes another mistake. Now he makes another one with Thorn while having no stamina. And I'm continue doing what I do. Boom. Boom. Boom, boom, boom. See what I mean? Now, what, think about where his stamina's at. This dude's done. This dude's done. If he doesn't get it done in this round, he got until early on into the next round, and it's over with. That, and, and, literally. <laughs> literally, it's over with. If he doesn't do something in these early rounds, come here, boom, boom, drop him to the body. It's over with because a lot of these Conor McGregor's don't use him right. They don't utilize his strengths right. Go to the body, fakes, body, body, we drop him. We land a high kick there. Yeah, and you can see he's gassed out now. You can see he is gassed out. He has the whole animation of being tired. And that's it. That is it. GG's, bro. GG's. That was fun. That was definitely fun. I personally do want to get in another match. I want to see if I have enough time very quickly. Do, 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 do. Maybe. Maybe, maybe not. I'll try to get in another match. If I don't, obviously, I'll come back. And let you guys know. And if I do, well, we'll be jumping into the next fight, right? But all right, here we go. Again, I hope you guys are enjoying this video and learning a thing or two from this video. All right, let's get it. All right, who we got here? We got Dark Key 928. Now, this is going to be another Alexander Volkanovsky. And uh, this will probably end off the video. Not really sure how long it will be. This fight will be. But if it goes out five rounds, this video is probably going to be on a longer end. And I'm pretty sure you guys are okay with that. I know you guys miss my longer videos. All right, here we go. Same same game plan, man. Same game plan. Pay attention to what he's doing. And this time, I'm actually going to switch up the game plan and look to attack his base like he just attacked mine. Just to show you guys, you can use, you know, different fighters different ways. You don't have to just always attack the body. And that was a nice check. Now, when someone checks your kick early, you need to be careful because, um, look at that. See that the hands are low? So you already got the respect. When someone checks your kick early, you want to be careful, especially if you throw a lead, because now if they throw kicks back to you, you're going to eat a lot of damage. And because he's blocking his um body, or well, basically blocking low, I'm going to be careful with one to kick this guy's leg. Look at the hands. They're low the whole time. So that opens up opportunities to possibly throw high kicks. Okay. He just got hit with two crosses because he wants to block his block up top. I mean, block his body, a.k.a. blocking the legs. We actually checked that kick, so that was good. That was the real leg. He eats a three-piece. Now, I'm trying to just throw crazy kicks up top to try to see if he's going to keep blocking low or the hand's going to go high. Notice how after I – basically, when I throw a strike, the hand's go high. So, basically, something like this will probably land. Jab, low kick. Because he blocks up top the second I throw something. But he just shows that he's blocking low. Boom. And we're going to double up the jab. Keep paying attention to his block. Okay, the hands go low. Throw a three-piece there. Mm. Try to throw a jab cross high kick. Okay. We check that kick as well. That's two checks on the rear leg. 
Low kick there. Nice high kick. Now he's trying to block kick up high. Jab, jab. We're going to wait a second. Follow up with the low kick here. We rock him. We drop him. Okay. Now he now we get him thinking about up top, right? Because he's been dropped. So if we can land something like that, he's probably going to be blocking high, so we kick his leg. We checks that one. That was kind of predictable. Okay. We got 16 seconds left in the round. Front kick landed clean. Low kick. Boom. He blocked two. He took too long to block his legs, but he was going to block the legs. That's why I threw it immediately. The timing had to be precise there. Because if I threw it any second later or millisecond later, he would have blocked it because he immediately started blocking low if you didn't notice. Here we go. Okay. Switch kick gets hit with a hook. Now we're going to pressure up top. Okay. Nice low kick. Okay. Going to circle out from here. Nice. Okay, let's pay attention to his block. What is he doing? He gets hit with a jab. We check. That's the third kick we've checked. So two more checks on that rear leg and it's done. Now, here's the thing. We have three more rounds basically to work. So if I can... If I can really weak on, weaken this lead leg, this dude is done. He won't be able to throw no more kicks. Our left leg is getting hurt with him kicking it. Then push him and kick the leg again. But the thing is, he can't keep throwing kicks. If we check, if we check like two more kicks, one more kick, he's going to get a rock. One more check, he's probably going to get his leg rocked. When people back up like that, I kind of see the low kick coming, like they're trying to get range. See right there? I'll check that one. Low kick. Body kick. Up top. That was a nice combination. There we go. Nice hand movement. Go for the low kick. And notice how I'm just systematically breaking these guys down. Literally. Block the switch kick. Hit him with the boom. Hit him with that. Maybe a question mark kick. We drop him. Two knees to the face. Okay. Boom. Now we attack the leg. Because the block was pressured. Nice. He tried to clinch me. We sidestepped it. Boom, we're going to attack the leg. We're going to push him. Attack the leg again. He does check that one. Nice. And you see how important checks are? Because look at my leg now. Then we got the front kick moving forward. Threw it at the wrong range. Didn't get punished heavy for it. Nice high kick. There we go. Nice. He's possibly going to throw two high kicks. Because uh, I've been picking up on the going high, then going low from this guy. That was a good round, though. That was definitely a good round. That was definitely a good round. Respect. We got to knock down that round with that question mark kick. Here we go. What is this, round three? Okay. Jab, cross, lead, hook, hook, low kick, hook, cross, jab, low kick. Okay. Mm. Notice how he isn't throwing any more low kicks, guys. He can't. He really can't afford to. His leg, his rear leg is screwed. 
His rear leg is screwed and his lead leg is right behind it. He throws the low kick there. But understand the low kicks that he's throwing are extremely risky. Nice. But he just do like what four or five punches to do that little bit of damage. As Thanos would say, all that for a drop of blood. Low kick again. He was stuck in animation, so there was no way he could check that one. Hit him with a low kick again. All right. And as I said, this gets real clinical, man. That was clean, but he overthrew. Those long combinations come with a price, man. They come with a price. Yeah, they're, you know what I'm saying? You did a lot of damage, but they come with a price. And honestly, if this dude doesn't, like, get the finish in this round, the fight only gets harder for him. We drop him. Low kick. Nope. Let's back up. Pay attention to what he's doing. Go for the leg. Go for the leg again. Now I'm going to throw a combination up top. Now he switches legs, but he just switched to a leg that I've checked four times. So his leg is screwed. This leg is screwed just like the other one. My legs are hurting as well, but I promise you his legs are worse. We get the drop here. Nope. Go to the leg. To the leg. Nice. Nope. Now his stamina is getting screwed as well. Kick the leg. And we're just playing it slow. He can't keep up the same pace he had, or you know, you would have early on in the fight. This guy wasn't a high paced fighter. Nope. Nice. Nope. Kick the leg. We get the rock, jab cross, low kick, low kick. Nope. Now, this is when the fight gets tough. This is when the fight gets really tough for him. Because his legs are screwed, right? Stamina's probably not looking the best. Chin isn't the best. Now his hands are low. We're going to walk him towards the cage and just throw a hook. Kick the leg. He's going to switch stances. Kick the leg. He checks my kick. We drop him. Question mark kick. Boom, kick his leg again. See how we just it's honestly it's a it's a clinic. It's a clinic, man. It really is a clinic on these guys with, with Yaya Rodriguez right now. We drop him again. Kick the leg. Kick the leg. Nice uppercut. He gonna go jab hook. No? Jab jab low kick. Think of, look at how we're just breaking these guys down, though, man. And honestly, if I wanted this fight to be over with, I could possibly just, like, pressure the high block. Okay, now he's throwing the uppercuts with the second strike, so we need to pay attention to that. We drop him again. Drop him again. Get the low kick. Get the low kick again. Low kick again. Nice check. Thing is, he can't really do much. Sleep. Yeah. I knew it was coming. I knew it was coming. And GG's, bro. GG's. Respect for sure. Respect for sure, man. GG's.
But just like that, man, I'm telling you guys, bro. You pay attention to what you're doing, what your opponent is doing in these matches. They don't get hard, man. They, they really, you really start to understand and figure these people out. Obviously, um, there's levels to this. Someone else gonna do better vert with Volkanovski than you know this guy or with the Conor McGregor. But all in all, again, these guys are game opponents and they're not just straight up scrubs. Look at the accuracy here. Okay, okay, okay. Wasn't the best for me. I mean, we had 11 knockdowns. This was a dominant fight. No matter what my health showed at the end of the fight, this was a very dominant fight. For me to get 11 knockdowns to zero, very dominant. But, hey, I'm going to get up out of here, guys. I do hope you enjoyed this one. It was a bit of a longer video. I know you guys do miss these. And if you did, be sure to hit the like button for your boy. Subscribe up and turn on notifications. I love you guys. Y'all stay up, stay blessed. Keep moving forward. I'm out. See you.